Hi, I'm Rachel K. Collier. Welcome to my new studio. As you can see, it's not quite finished yet. We've got no lights, no walls, no power, and definitely no computer. But for today's video, that really doesn't matter because I've been sent something quite revolutionary. Here it is, fresh from Ableton, the Push 3. So why am I so excited? Well, first things first, we can use Push 3 in standalone. So basically, no computers. Secondly, it's got two hours of battery life, so no power. Perfect for someone like me whose studio isn't finished. It's also got two audio inputs for things like synths, guitars, vocals, whatever you want to plug in. MIDI in, MIDI out, ADA in, ADA out, plus Wi-Fi. Let's take it on the road and make some music with Push 3. found a super cool spot. I've set up my push, plugged in a little CS, got a microphone going into the back. I'm going to play you a little tune. Let's do this. Something tells me you're in trouble again. Something tells me you can't pretend Something tells me your words are wearing thin Something tells me Let me be the one to help you change Fear and waterfalls when it's just the rain You're on the run but in whose race Let me be the one to break So here I am, I'm back in my temporary studio space. I thought it might be interesting to show you the new model and also break down that performance just in case you guys want to make one like it yourselves. So let's start here with push three. We've got some new fancy buttons. 
top left, some new fancy buttons top right. We've also got some beautiful new pads. As you can see, I'll play a little chord for you. And then let's dive to these little buttons here. So this is for loading in your files, which you can send over Wi-Fi from your computer. So let's jump to the little settings cog here. And we've got lots of things to play with. Status, audio. This is where you can select things like sample rate, buffer size. We've got preamps here for the input. Let's jump over to the right side because these are exciting buttons. Here, we have got the device button. So whatever track is selected, your devices are going to show up the top. Things like the vocal, vocal effects, filters on my chords. Then right next door, we've got the mix. This is obviously where we can like alter all the volumes of our tracks, if things are going to which send. But also, if you press it again, we can dive into the inputs and outputs for that track. And then next door again, this is where we're going to go to our certain clips. So if we've got a MIDI clip here, we can just jump in, select, hit that little clip, and we can see all the MIDI information. And same goes for audio. Select, let's dive into an audio channel here, my tinkles. You can see we've got all the waveform. And then finally, really exciting, new of course, the session view button, there it is. And we can use the jog wheel then to jump around, trigger scenes, select clips, all that kind of stuff. On the back here, this is where we've got our two inputs. So like I said, you can plug anything into those, uh, synths, microphones, guitars, and then we've got our outputs. We've got a headphone out, and our main out, so we can actually split these two. So when I was performing then on the beach, you weren't hearing the booming click track, which is in my headphones now, because we've routed the click out through a separate out, and you can do that all on push, which I just think is so cool. Right, so now let's quickly break down how the performance was set up for the beach. It was actually a really simple set, six channels. And what I've got, I've got the little CS going into channel one. And I've got an auto filter on the channel. So I can play with that, bring it up and down. I've got this also armed, so it's kind of like a live track. Then I've got my vocal track here, which I'm talking through the microphone now. So I can play with some of my delays, because I made a nice little effects rack here. A slap, slap delay, delay super, super slap, slap, super slap, and lots of reverb. And then on this channel here, I'm kind of multi-using this channel. I do some vocal loops and they are resampling this vocal channel. So whatever effects are on this channel, it's going to record. And then I've just got two audio clips in here, which I can just trigger and play live. What I've also got here then is the main instrumental channel and I've set up a, on a 64 pad mode all the samples from the song. So I played the... And then the... So these are all in a big drum rack. I've got the bass sounds, the vocal pads and the drums. And then I've got my bass sample. So all of these make up the main instrumental for the song. And then using the fix length button, this is where it gets really fun. I can be sort of playing my chords, playing my chords and singing my song, playing my chords and singing my song. And then I can just start a loop here. Here we go, one, two, three, four. And here we go. And it's set to four bars. So after four bars, it's just all gonna loop back. <laughs> Let's turn off that reverb. So it was actually quite a simple little performance, not too technical at all, just using that 64 pad drum mode, fixed length and a bit of live looping and then the live tracks going via push and then out into my recorder. So there we have it. That is my first taste of Push 3. I'm blown away by this. I'm so excited. When I first got it, I thought I'm never going to be able to do what I do on stage 
without the computer, but I actually can. So I'm so excited to take it out on the road, perform in places that are a bit more remote. So thank you Ableton for making this incredible instrument. And if you guys want to get your hands on this actual little live set, then head over to my Patreon because I'm going to give that away so you can maybe try and play the song yourself if you want. I'll put the lyrics on there too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Ableton for letting me try out Push 3. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. We'll